Happy number two, we're going to set up TikTok and we're going to do this. Happy Native American Heritage, it is day eight. So my tablet's going to die, so we need to do this as quickly as possible and then we can go from there. Alright, so tonight's hero is El Dorado. Alright, he's from the Super Friends. From back in the day when I was a little kid. It's one of my secrets that I kind of keep to have in my car. Okay, so we're doing El Dorado and the Super Friends. First, I'm going to show you guys what he looks like. And, um, toy looks broken as hell. We're going to show y'all his broken from hell toy. So, this is his broken from hell toy. There's for TikTok. There's for YouTube. Okay, my God. El Dorado is fucked up, yo. And this is what he looked like on Super Friends cartoon. From way back in the 70s and 80s. Late seventies, early eighties, or at least at least the early eighties. And now we're gonna go to his wiki. I'm not gonna read the whole wiki because as as I always do, I insist to you, especially if you are a Native American, to go and do your research. You might find something about El Dorado that my dumb ass might have missed. After all, I am fifty years old. Alright. So he came in on the Super Friends. El Dorado came in in season five. His first appearance was Alien Mummy. We're not gonna go through all the um, species and all that other stuff. We're just gonna go ahead and give you his uh, powers and ability and most of his fictional biography. We're not gonna do other media. If you want all that, Wikipedia is the place for you, and that's what you're gonna do. All right, here we go. Fictional biography, all here. So I'm only going to go into the second paragraph because we're not going to go into the comic books because as far as I know, he was a Hannibal Bear character just like Apache Chief was. And I guess they reinvented him for the comic. According to this, he came out in the New 52s in the Suicide Squad universe. Okay, anyway, we're going to worry about that. You guys can go figure him and Amanda Waller out. Okay, so let's do it. El Dorado was created for the Super Friends cartoon. His first appearance was in the character of Super Friends. Animated short that aired in 1981, the season of the Super Friends Legendary Superpower Show. The full-time member, El Dorado, spoke English with a Spanish accent. And he used both English and Spanish words in full sentences. El Diablo debuted in an episode called Alien Mummy. It is revealed that he is of Mexican descent. The narrator sent to describe the location of one of El Diablo's lines are these are mysterious ruins of my people. And then the rest is all about comic books, so we're not going to touch the comic book stuff. I don't really read DC Comics, and I only knew El Dorado from the cartoon, so I can't go diving into that on your time. Alright, powers and ability. So again, we're going to go probably all the way through this paragraph, because this thing doesn't have a lot of time. It is at 26%. I better charge this SOB up ASAP. Okay, I'll show you more pictures of El Dorado and keep the power on. Okay, El Dorado's power will were not well defined and he's highly ambiguous. He is most frequently uses the ability of teleportation, which he accomplished by wrapping his cape around his body and vanishing. Anyone and other things that he wrapped around his body would also teleport with him. And there appears to be no limit to the distance of how far he can travel. And others, another is his frequently use of his ability to generate illusions defined as holograms. These illusions were also capable of fooling other senses. They, as sometimes they generated noise and could be touched. He once created a sea monster which roared so loud... <coughs> On other occasions, he did a, a pile of fake dolls and had villains forcefully, psychically dig through them. He also exhibited some degree of mental powers, including telepathy, as seen in Super Friends Season 6, episode where he communicates with Wonder Woman during a series of opening themes. He, um, at one point, shown to be hovering, suggesting that he flight capabilities. And he would sometimes enter from the side of the screen as if he was just landing. That's called budgeting. 
<laughs> okay, just just so the jog guys know how you have some scenes where all of a sudden the guy's there, but he wasn't there, and it looks like he's just coming in. It's because he's just coming in, and it's called budgeting. We don't need to see where he came from. We just need to see him land. It's the same thing. Like, all right, for example, we all go to bed. We set our bed times. My bed time is midnight. It takes me almost an hour and a half to fall asleep, which means technically my bed time is probably one thirty, two o'clock. Because you never know when you fall asleep. You only know when you wake up, providing that you are woken up with a device, like an alarm clock. Other than that, if you don't look at the time when you wake up, you really don't know when you wake up either. Okay, moving on. Where was I? Um, landing. Okay. He may also possess superhuman strength, as in one complete competitor he di directed against... Um, Calabax. For those who do not know Calabax, Calabax is the son of Darkseid. Technically, he's the adopted son of Darkseid, because Orion is Darkseid's actual biological son. Unless that shit's been retconned, so don't come at me. I also haven't read or watched the Super Friends in fucking forever. Okay, um, physical combat, and it's also seen several occasions heavy lifting, lifting heavy objects with little effort. Knowledge about pre-Columbian history... In other words, he probably is an archaeologist in his actual life. He is assistant to super friends whenever they are forced to endure unfamiliar ruins in areas of Latin America. No one, no official origin, excuse me, no official origin was ever given to explain El Dorado's past nor his mention of which he acquires these powers. They may be mystical in nature and he may be endowed with ancient magic of his people. The warrior spirit is possibly driven by astral, ancestral, or ancestral, ancient Aztec sorcerers. Any another probability of his powers is that they are purely psionic, and the Aztec elements of incorporating with these thermatic purposes. I totally pushed that last part, but you guys can go on his Wikipedia, and you can learn a lot more. Than me sitting here and trying to do this for y'all. So now we're going to go back to images of El Dorado to end this video. So, um, let's see. Images of El Dorado. I guess this is a more up-to-date version of El Dorado. So, there's that. Um... I have no idea what version of El Dorado this is supposed to be. So, there's that. Let's see. Okay, this is an actor. Just as El Dorado. This is El Dorado and the Wonder Twins, Jane and Zena. Or Jaina, whatever the hell her name is. I remember um, Superhero Squad, so apparently <laughs> DC took a page out of their book and made the same kind of thing. I don't really like that. But this is looking cool as hell here. So you have Black Vulcan, the Wonder Twins, El Dorado, and Apache Chief, and Samurai. <clears throat> So we're going to end this only because my tablet is going to die. So there won't be a second video to El Diablo. Excuse me, El Dorado. But um, thank you guys for tuning in. Happy Native American Heritage Month. And I hope that I taught you guys something. And I hope you guys will at least go look at the Super Friends so that you can see El Dorado do his thing. And for everyone else, go find some comics. But no, seriously, you need to check out Super Friends. 1981 was a long time ago for me. It never happened for some of you. Anyway, go read comics and go watch Super Friends. El Dorado. Happy Native American Heritage Month. This is day eight. All right. So y'all can tell we're just getting started. Thanks for watching. Be seeing you. <clears throat> oh, for the love of God. Okay, so here's the thing. Damn it. Sorry, y'all. Alright, so tonight's hero is El Dorado. Alright? He's from the Super Friends.
back in the day when I was a little kid. Get skin on my lip. No. I'm a germaphobe. It's one of my secrets that I kind of keep to him myself. And now you all know I'm a germaphobe. Yes, I have hand wipes everywhere. The whole box of my car. Okay. So we're doing El Dorado. Got a super friend. First, I'm going to show you guys what he looks like. I can't remember how to spell his damn name. Uh, I didn't know he had a toy. That boy looks broken as hell. We're going to show you all his broken from hell toy. So, this is his broken from hell toy. Here's for TikTok. Here's for YouTube. Okay, my God. El Dorado is fucked up. Only I can look right at a name and totally misspell this it. This is what he looked like on Super Friends cartoon. Way back in the 70s and 80s. Late 70s and 80s. Eighties, or at least the early eighties. And now we're gonna go to his wiki. Copy. I'm not gonna read the whole wiki because, as as I always do, I insist that you, especially if you are hidden. Okay, for you guys, I'm actually going to make one more video, just not about El Dorado. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to make one more video, just not about El Dorado, because um, something happened tonight on TikTok that pissed me off. So stay tuned for that video. Thank you guys very much. I am Echo from Grey Wolf. This is Kung Fu Havoc number two. And as soon as I get my body back on screen, you see in ya.